our next speakers are brothers with autism. They are both Special Olympic Filipinas athletes and athlete leaders. The older sibling represented Team Philippines in powerlifting at the 2019 Special Olympics World Game in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Also, he works as an HR assistant at Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporation since 2020 and loves superheroes and robotics. He, he, he is also into music and acting while his younger sibler, while his younger sibling is a gamer and a dancer who also loves baking and painting. He dreams to be a voice actor in Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Mr. Henry and Derek Munariz. Henry was a very interesting character. He had so much to say about like whatever topic he was into, whether it was reincarnation or My Little Ponies or like whatever TV show he was watching recently. He could tell you like in detail everything that happened and he could tell you how like his relationship with each of the characters in those shows are stuff like that. Standing here, eyes on the horizon, side by side, the wind is blowing in our eyes. We're not afraid, we're breathing slowly. This is home, this is what defines me from right here. I thought of being famous for everything, like music, technology, uh, the movies, uh, yeah, everything. Uh. Yeah. When, when I say that I want to be like a Mavro, a Sledge, and a Galvin Axel, I didn't mean to be evil like them. I meant like a, like a, I just meant like Mavro, the, the dad of Rock and Vicar, Sledge in love, and a Galvin Axel fame. Well, yeah, that's, that's why I want my life to be all three of them at once, because uh, Master Xandrex, his life is none of them, just a, an evil army taking over the world. They're all Power Ranger villains. We are unbreakable. We are unbreakable. We are unbreakable. Derek, on the other hand, is not as vocal, not as expressive. And he, it takes like a lot of time to really connect with him. Like, you really have to work hard to even just be able to have a conversation. What's your name? I'm Derek. How old are you? 17. What do you like to do? But I have my own look-alike. What do you like to do? That video game. Do you like to play video games? Like a look-alike. <laughs> Right, huh? What do you mean he's not talking right? It's, he's okay. just the word if you remember, right. I'll say what it's right. It's just had a, a man. Guys. He just wants everybody to show uh, what uh, his fun is, uh, like a uh, kitty, uh, just dance, uh, just uh, okay. every everything, what, whatever he what? loves. Uh. Okay. What? 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 Oh man, there it is again. What? What? Uh. Well, their relationship is very unique. Henry loves Derek so much. But you can't really see it in like the typical forms of love where he would like give gifts or like, you know, whenever you'd ask Henry about his dreams, Derek was in each one of his dreams. What do you like about Derek? Oh, uh, I haven't thought of anything. Like, man, it's just that he has autism always repeats and 
he annoyed me sometimes. Like, that's why I began to think of us as Shrek and Donkey. Well, there is a saying that if you meet one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Um, kids with autism all have very different like manifestations of the condition. But generally, those with autism have difficulty socializing. Like, I think that's one thing that's quite common. It's not that they don't want to socialize, but <clears throat> it, the condition is somewhat of like a hindrance. So it just takes like a lot of time and effort um, for you to like really get to them. But you know, they're worth all the effort when it comes to like trying to get to know them. All right, that was really inspiring. Thank you, um, Henry and Derek, for your wonderful video. So, as we wait for, as we wait for our interpreter, let's uh, let's let's give our comments about the video. And I really like that we're given and a glimpse into the life of these super athletes. Sorry, hello, hello, hello again. All right, from the top. Thank you again to our brothers, Derek and Henry Cunyaris, for that wonderful video. So we're given a glimpse into their life, aside from all the power lifting that Henry does on the, on the stadium. We're given into life of how people with autism, like them, we're given it's really interesting. And what the, and what their former teacher says, oh, they have a second video? Wait, I'm, where is that? They, they do have a second video. So before we move on, let's look at it first. These two brothers have autism and they're both Special Olympics athlete leaders. Henry is 23 years old and aspires to be a hero. He wants to become an actor, singer, and a maker for things that will help people have comfortable lives. Derek is 22 years old. He loves to dance and play video games. He's a talented cook and baker who wants to become a prolific artist and a voiceover actor. He may not communicate much, but he is a resourceful tech geek. Hi, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you how to move up. So let's get started. First, use your left toe and your right leg to slide back. Then switch. Use your left leg to slide back and use your right toe and slide and switch. So let's do it. Slide, switch, slide, switch. See? Slide, switch, slide, switch. One more time. Slide. Switch, slide, switch, see? So let's, I'll show you. See? It works. So, let's go one more time. And what do you think? That one works perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. There are a lot of challenges in sports. Yet with its trials, there is so much to gain. Valuable life lessons that only our superhero brothers can process and call as their own experience. <laughs> our superhero brothers participated in the 2019 Special Olympics World Games in Abu Dhabi. It wasn't cheap, nor was it easy, but their mother was determined to give them an experience that will definitely change them in great ways. Henry participated as a power lifter, while Derek participated as family support. Yet both boys learned independence in their own separate ways. 
Henry lived with his team for two full weeks while Derek was a remote observer to his brother Skyler. Both boys learned how big the world can be in that short span of time as they met and engaged with athletes from different countries. They learned about stress and took steps at learning to focus and stay alert. They learned how to be happy for their other teammates. They learned that teammates and coaches and spectators also mean friends. They learned that they have a message and that there's so many people willing to listen and know their stories. They learned that trying is just as important as winning. Most importantly, these opportunities of independence teaches them to be resourceful and confident. For the special families out there, our Autism Hero and Autism Ninja urge you to look into Special Olympics Filipinas because there's no greater joy for any parent than seeing their children happy and confident to take on the world. Wow, that was absolutely magnificent. That is absolutely amazing. So, kung, so kung sa first video, nakita natin yung um, interaction between them. Dito naman, pinakita yung um, interaction nila with other people outside their home. Diba po? So, nandun mm. na yung mga talent. Pinakita nila kung paano nila ginagawa yung mga talent nila. How they showcase their talents. And how did they um, how did they um, blend with the society nga pal and i really appreciate na that they, that um their primary skills especially harry harry powerlifting he's good he he know he has yes he knows how to, how to build up confidence his timing in lifting his weights and all that and i really appreciate our special world Olympics. aside from him and Derek. i pray and hope that Derek will join his brother on the world stage once special Olympics world Games 2023 comes along in berlin and really really it's a really wonderful um, thing to have them with us for this webinar and you you, you will get to meet them later in our q a I hope my only wish that I would ask them, I hope they met our first gold medalist Hidilin Diaz, who is also a power lifter and and a woman at that. So these what these and these amazing people in our society help lift the Philippines metaphorically and literally onto the world stage. <laughs>